to get this going properly. The world is veiled in darkness, the wind stops, the sea is wild, and the earth begins to rot. The people wait, their only hope a prophecy. When the world is in darkness, four warriors will come. After a long journey, four young warriors arrive, each holding an oar. My name is Deathstar175, and I am starting a chronological Final Fantasy play. Uh, it's going to be once every couple of days, probably Fridays and possibly Saturdays, and yeah. Wednesdays, right? Yeah, Wednesdays. Uh, I'm going to be here with my friend, uh, Hazmat X. Hey, how's it going? And we're going to be playing... As, uh, as you said, Final Fantasy. Now, Hazmat here has never played any true Final Fantasies, so this is going to be an experience for him. Yep. Respond rate 8. Fighter. Let's name him, what was it again? Jake. Jake. The Fighter Jake. Not JT. Jake. There we go. Then we did a black... Well, I guess white mage. Uh, <laughs> what was the white mage's name? Marie. 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 Because you can only have four character names on... Or four characters on this. Then the black belt, which we named Sid. As I said, this is the fourth time we've tried starting this, so let's hope it stays. And then the, lastly, Fred. So, we've got our characters. Let's play. This is Corneria. It's a simple castle, simple people, but of course, the king always needs our help. Always. So, what is the king's problem today? Light Warriors, just in Lucan's prophecy, Garland has kidnapped the princess. Please help her. And he got the princess got captured by a thing of flowers. Kind of a thing. I I I know it's it's odd. Garland uh, is, is it is it a garlic garland? Is it a what is it? Popcorn garland? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. To start with, you have your basic character set up. You can press select and rearrange your characters, which I'm going to do right here. And, as you can see, uh, we start off with 400 gold. No items, no magic, no weapons, no armor. So, that's one of the first things you need to pick up. You need to get weapons and armor and all sorts of fun things. Now, you want the rapier for Jake. We want wooden nunchucks for Sid. We want a wooden staff for Fred. And an iron hammer for Mari. Just to start with. Chain for the fighter. And cloth for everybody else. Because mages aren't known for their awesome art. Although the the black belts, they really are. They 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 can pack a wallop. Uh, yeah, they pack a wallop and uh, and most importantly, they uh, have combos. Yeah, they combo, and after about level 5, they just do so much damage, they don't need weapons anymore. Let's see, this is black magic, so we're going to teach Fred fire. That's about it for black magic. So then we go over to the white magic. Teach Mari cure. It's not super important, but it helps. Yep, the walking band-aid needs to have, you know, their unlimited supply of band-aids. 
This is a clinic. This is where you go if you need to restore your characters to life. And this is an item shop. I don't have I don't have enough money to afford anything. So let's leave. Ha ha. The downside to this game you can kind of get it on an infinite loop right there. So, battle system. Interesting thing about these battle system. You can only select one enemy to attack, and if you kill that enemy, any other people that are set to attack that enemy just miss. There, there's nothing else. They don't re-attack or re-align themselves to attack another enemy. So it's like Earthbound 1 in that same way. Yes, yes, very much like that. Now, imps are the most common, simple, just easy enemies in any of the Final Fantasy games. They're basically like the slimes of Dragon, Dragon Quest. And imps are in... I think they're actually in every single Final Fantasy. I think so, or if they are... Or something similar, at least. Of course, like Final Fantasy VI, an imp is not an easy enemy. It's not a low-level enemy anyway. So we select all, the, all we select everyone and attack everything and kill things and we take a little bit of damage, but not much. For the, fir for the first little bit, Jake and Sid are definitely going to be the powerhouses of this. At least until we level up enough and get the mages some better equip or better uh, magics. Speaking of which, I noticed there isn't like a MP bar. No. Um, in Final Fantasy 1 and 2 and 3, Three, if I remember right, the original Final Fantasies on the NES and Famicom, you actually had magic points. Like oh. each, if you look at this, you'll notice there's eight levels. Each level has its own set of magic points. So, level one magic has two points. So you can use two level one magics. Um, to make it more interesting. In, like, remakes and everything, um, the Game Boy Advance version actually switched to normal magic points, like MP, it had, like, 999 MP at the end of the game, and everything just used MP. Some of the other versions, uh, actually just increased how many level, or how many points you can get in each level. In this version, the maximum you can get is nine casts, so, on... At least the first six. Aside from that, you're out of magic. So, nine casts total, and then it just disappears, and you need to buy more? No, you need to refill your magic. No, I haven't leveled up yet, have I? No, I haven't. I need to level up before I go in there. Oh, great imp. I assume that's what I mean. No, great imp. Gray, not great. For experience, hallelujah. Fun stuff. And hello and welcome to the chat, whoever's watching. I can't really see who it is, but... The way I have mine set up. That's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Well, well welcome to the, the stream, both of you. It's good to see that people are actually joining and watching. It's fun. Okay. And as I said earlier in my uh, earlier in the cast, 
Uh, this is actually me starting a chronicle, chronological let's play of all the Final Fantasies. Up through 10, at least. I think I still have 10. 10 and 10, too. Um, as well as 12, even. So we're gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna do some fun games. Um, with me behind me is Hazmat X. He's in the viewer list now. Yep. And uh, he he's going to be joining me for most of these streams. Hopefully all of them, but no guarantees. Yeah, it happens. Life happens. Life happens. I'm not going to be playing every day, but I'm going to try to play a little bit as much as possible. Probably around two to three times a week. If not a little bit more. Another thing to note. The uh, experience system in, this, in the original Final Fantasy, you only go up to level 50. That's the maximum level. Um... Also, there is no differing curve for different classes. It's all the same, the same curve. So, as long as no one dies in battle, everyone levels at the same time, every time. Cool. A few more, a few more fights, and we should be able to, uh, we, we should level up and be able to go fight the first boss. If you can call him a boss. He just reeks of garland. I always, had, I always thought garland would be, you know, soothing for the nerves. No, they just stink. They just stink. Still gotta love that Final Fantasy music. It's great stuff. I don't know. Can you hear it? Yeah, I can hear it. Um, it's a little bit dim over Skype, but like if I tuned into the cast or at least had it going on in the background. Okay, okay. As 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 long as you're getting the experience. And feel free to chat. I do interact. <laughs> Despite his name, he does not actually kill and I out of habit. <laughs> Probably should have waited until I leveled up to do that. Mm. To, to heal and save. And the fun, <laughs> and the fun thing is, I'm actually playing with an NES controller. Yay! Makes it that much better. You know, maybe it's not great, and maybe it's just grumpy. And eh, that could be it. I don't know. It, it's basically the Grinch before you know he actually got a recoloring of his sprite. Interesting thought. Okay, let's go get a couple more things from in here after healing again. We can go get one more spell for our white mage. Or we can go get some potions. I'm thinking the spell is a better choice. Fred, learn lightning. And thus we move onward towards the castle. The castle of Or... Is that castle of ordeals? No, the castle of chaos? 
I, I, I can't remember the name of this place. I'm pretty sure it's... Yeah, it's the Castle of Chaos. So here's a slight theory. If that is a black mate, and it's oozing with dark power and whatnot, why does it have glowing eyeballs? I mean, it, wouldn't they be, like, shrouded in shadow? They glow in the dark. Oh, yeah, he's blind otherwise. Okay. I, I guess Garland's Keep is a good way to saying it. Temple of the Fiends, that's what it is. The Temple of the Fiends. Uh. <laughs> At least that's what it is in later versions. It changes. Now, there are rooms on each of the four corners of this place. There's nothing really in them that I want to get. So, here's Garland. No one touches my princess. Light warriors, you impertinent fools. I, Garland, will knock you all down. <laughs> so we attack, we attack. There's nothing we do with her. Just attack. And fire. Ten damage. Ooh. Fifteen damage. Burninating damage. Eleven damage. We'll set your cape on fire. We'll do it. Lightning damage. Fifteen damage. More damage! Give me more damage! And as the first boss, he goes down without a fight. Really. Yeah. And then we have the five bats here. Nothing nothing doing, but they they seem kind of sad. So you are the light warriors, thank you. And she magically teleports us back to the castle. In front of the king. Wait. Why didn't she do that to her set? D don't ask. Thank you for saving the princess. To aid your quest, I ordered a bridge built to the continent. Go now and make the orb shine again. You know, it, it sounds so much better when he talks like like the uh, king from Dokapon. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then we talk to the princess and get the loot. It's been passed down from... Queen to princess for 2,000 years, which is important. Not yet, but it's important. Alright, so we need to make the orb shine. First thing, turtle wax. Best thing for shine. Uh, yeah, that, that's not a bad idea, actually. So, now we can come around up here. Oh, hey, look, there's a bridge that wasn't here before. And the cutscene. And so their journey begins. What awaits the four, they do not know. Each holding an orb that 2,000 years ago shined with beauty from within, but now only darkness. Come, start your journey. Return the light of peace to our world. Program by Nasir. Character design by Yoshita Kamada. Scenario by Kenji Terada. Production of Square Eighty. Three people. Three people. This was programmed by one person. Which is really kind of impressive if you think about it. Yeah, I was going to say that. This is kind of too on Taylor. That's a good one. It was supposed to be the last and final hurrah for Square, because they were going out of business. But, it did so well, it just, they they came they made a comeback. So, the Earth of Light are really like a metaphor for their company. Come, make our old company shine again. <laughs> Uh, 
Iguana. This is also the first uh, RPG game that actually used different backgrounds depending on... or in battle, depending on where you happen to uh, be fighting. Very ahead of its ahead of its time for its time. I think that's what I wanted to say. Uh oh, Jake! No! And just as they had started on their journey, one of them sturdy and Jake would never recover. Oh, could you imagine how horrible that t that gameplay would be like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. have it changed to the Dragon Quest, oh, what is it, number... One. Yeah, where you have to buy a new party member. No, no, Dragon Quest One. You don't get party members. Oh, yeah. So, now we run back and hopefully not... Die also, again. Also, another thing that even a lot of games nowadays don't do the sprite switch is when somebody's down to another character in your party. Yep. And it's the character in the lead of your party that actually stays on, on, in front there. So. Simply put him back. <laughs> and welcome to the stream, any new viewers. It's uh, good to see y'all. Um, my name's Deathy. This is Hazmat behind me. I'm doing a uh, chronological let's play of all the Final Fantasies over the next few months, probably. Uh, I'm not going to be playing every day, but I'm going to try to stream three or four times a week. At least. So feel free to come in, watch, talk, do, do what you want. We're a friendly crew here. Most Stop scaring away the viewers. <laughs> Insulted by us killing parts of their family. Extended or no. I don't like their extended family. I mean, who likes their in laws? I like my in laws. Mm. Mine are so so. You don't have in-laws. You're not married. I have extended family. That's not in-laws, though. In-laws is your wife's. And you're not married, so you don't have in-laws. Your brain does not compute. Yeah, never need to worry about it. <laughs> Where the creeps or zerglings come afterwards. We need more overlords. Spawn more overlords. Monsters perished. Monsters perished. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see if we can get over to the second town before dying again. Yeah. <laughs> Might be able to do it. Just get, just replace your sword with a rolled up newspaper. It'll be fine. It's never fine. 
It's never fine. At least there's only one left. Yeah. I find it kind of funny that the black belt being a combat class versus two mages couldn't kill one wolf. With two strikes. Eh, it happens. Still, so pick, pick up the pick. Three level ups. Jake didn't level up because he was dead. Poor Jake. That'll probably level up next battle. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll find out next battle. Iguana. Burn Iguana! I want fried Iguana la! <laughs> Actually, for fried lizard meat, not too shabby, I gotta say. I'm actually right. It isn't that bad as long as it's cooked right. And also, if the thing isn't, you know, poisonous. Or still alive. Oh, yeah. holy. Which we won't get till near the end of the game. Not a good day for Jeff. No, not good at all. Of course, the iguana's almost dead. I hope. Please be dead. I don't want to restart this early. Please? Yay! Poor Jake. Taken before his time. Let's get down to the town that's right here. Before I die, more. Uh, thank goodness, it, it doesn't seem to have the high encounter rate that Mother One was notorious for. Just wait. Just wait. So Jake has now died twice. Uh, <laughs> let's see, in, in, who has got the in? Oh, the in's up here. And by going to the in, you save your game. Remember, hold reset while you power off, or you could lose your data. Feels so good playing this with an actual NES controller. Yeah. You know, I never heard of that happening. If somebody didn't hold reset while turning off the power. It's happened to me twice. I was not happy. Because I had every character up to level 50. It was four black belts. And they were just doing so much damage. And then the power just stopped. It stopped. And no save. Why no save? Why you no save game? It, it's, it's, it's a horrible thing. Yay. We killed you, FTW! Uh, Brental Floss. Yes. Brental Floss. Uh. Oh dear. 
We seem to have a pony problem. Yeah, tell me about it. So, Mad Pony. Clearly he's escaped off the farm with the Mad Cap. Yep, they took the last flight down to Jersey. Oh, okay. I, I'm almost going to do some sort of friendship as magic joke, but I'm not going to think that well. Please don't. I'll have to kill you. <laughs> and, I, and I don't want to do that live in front of an audience. It, it, it's, it, it, it wouldn't be pleasant. And they'd probably send me to jail. Hey! Fred died! <laughs> right before I could heal. Yeah, that seems like a double slap in the face. Oh, he died, and you wasted your, you know, limited heal thing? Welcome to the troll that is Final Fantasy 1. But Jake leveled up! So, back inside to heal. And save! And do all sorts of fun things. I have a new and improved health potion. That was great. Hey, th 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 this tastes like pe- This tastes like people! What? Why does this taste like people? Everyone, health HP potions are made from people. <sighs> Aww. That's right, the true secret was Soylent Potions the whole time. Soylent Potions. <laughs> Soylent Pots! Ah, it's just wolves. Oh god, my throat! <laughs> Can't be as bad as that fiasco of like two years ago with the uh, many wolf incidents up here. <laughs> Feel good, you monster. Do you know how many minions? It seems like nobody cares about the minions anymore. I mean, each one of those minions had a family. They're like these ogres. They're just, you know, clocking in from 9 to 5, and you just randomly show up and whack them over the head with swords, hammers, and spells. Or wooden stacks if you're too cheap to use spells. Uma mao mao. Uma mao mao. Now, battle in in battle, the way they are attacked is very interesting in this game, because the person on the top has a fifty percent chance of getting attacked. The person on the second spot has a twenty five percent chance. The person in the third spot has a twelve and a half percent chance, and the person in the last spot also has a twelve and a half percent chance. If I remember right, pretty sure I remember right. So basically, the top is most likely to get hit, and the further down you go, the more safe you are. Pretty much. Hence why the weak people go on the bottom. They go on the bottom all night long. So, 
I gotta say, that ogre really, like, no wonder he's in the forest. I mean, he looks really sunburned. He's just trying to get some shade. He was out all day, you know, patrolling for the people with the light orb, and then it's like, ah. And then what happens? It's much worse than just getting slapped on the shoulder with thunder. No, you club him with a hammer while he has a thunder. And that's Hazmatics. <laughs> That was actually an iTunes pop-up. Yeah. Much worse than a Skype pop-up. Okay, I'll get you. Let's get a better weapon. Short sword. Yes. Jake. I'm going on an adventure! Yeah, short sword. It's like a rapier, except a little less, or I kind of mean a little more durable. And a little less rapey? <laughs> I wasn't gonna touch that one. If you weren't, someone else was. Yeah, probably. And then we go around, fight some more, just level up. Because we need to be at least level, I want to say, five before we go on. Oh, they're unicorns. No, you didn't notice that? No. <laughs> So, basically, if you just make a horse angry, it becomes unicorns. Well, that's what they say in this game. Quick, put a blanket over their head. They'll die on their own I saw that, too. <laughs> They'll just lay down and die. They'll stop eating. They, they think they're dead already. Hey, that's a very nice everything you have there. It would be a shame if, if something should happen to it. <laughs> Not in this game. Nope, nothing to explode in this game. More mad ponies! They're super mad! And we are more angry now that you are hitting us. So, stop hitting us. We do not like being hit. And, and the fire, though, though it is very nice that you, you, you want to warm us up, it hurts. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me uh, advance further along the Lightning instead. <laughs> oh, the first combo attack of the game. Two damage. All fancy magic. Or 
horses are indeed in the Final Fantasy universe, but instead of choosing to ride them, they chose to choose chickens instead. Giant, overgrown chickens. They go que. Que! 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 Though they don't appear in this game. Oh. Anywhere. They hadn't been invented yet. what the orbs of light actually were. They were just chocobo eggs. Oh? <laughs> no. <laughs> nah, couldn't be. Nah. Yeah, 800 year years for a chocobo egg? I would have given up on it a long time ago. 2,000. Oh. That, that should be like the ultimate weapon. You just throw the orb and it breaks into some fast stuff. <laughs> Though true. <laughs> it's the Oga. Adventures like had been made probably a few, you know, decades later. I kind of wonder if there would be a workman's comp for adventurers. Or is that the being able to take anything you find? I think that's the being able to take anything that's lying around. That, that and the whole uh, respawning of pots like in Zelda. He breaks every pot in the room. He goes out the door, says, I wonder. Turns around, opens it, nothing but pots. You have to wonder, though, is somebody going to make, like, a Zelda hack where, like, as soon as you leave a room while it's blacked out for that split second, you just hear, like, drills and cranes going on in the background? <laughs> One more fight. Just one more fight. One more fight and then I'll quit. Oh, I didn't say I'd quit. No. So we need about 600 more experience to level up again. Whew! There's that damned iguana again. Hey, it killed Fred again. Iguanas don't like him. Nope, they, they, they give a licking and keep on kicking. Fred. And back to revive again. Yep. Fred, why you keep dying? At least I don't have to rearrange the party again. Time for defensive items. Defensive items will save your life. Sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, Curiosity. Killed the cat, yes. Oh, well, that too. But, if... Is that old glitch there that I've heard so much about that I've actually never used of killing a Lich King with Phoenix down? The Lich? Well, other than the fact that there are no Phoenix Downs in this game... They hadn't been invented yet. Like many good things, it hasn't been invented yet. Yep. Ah, I'm so glad I don't have my 
email posted, otherwise it'd be, be like, What are you doing? Why are you so lacking in your Final Fantasy knowledge? It's nap time. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, select, start. What? Hey, you're level 50. Awesome! Well, time to steamroll through the game. By the way, you can hold down B and press select and get a world map. The more you know. There are a lot of dragons. I would not recommend going toward the corners. Oh, I wouldn't suggest it either. Hey, there's four mad pokemon. They're getting more mad, I tell ya. Or four mad. Do ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Do ho. It's going to be going through my head all night. This old paddle thing. It's the only one! <clears throat> yeah, that's the one downside to the original Final Fantasy. There are no other battle themes. This is it. For the entire game. Including the final boss. Well, admittedly, it was the NES era. They didn't have as much to work with. True. Though, I suppose, or the mother one. Never mind. I I'm just gonna shut up now. I always have a problem with not shutting up. That hammer packs a wallop. Of course, so does that sword if you really give it a chance. I want to get up to about 600 money again, so I can go buy another spell. Spells. There are never enough. Probably also the reason why I would never be a wizard in real life. Make useless items like the feather of feather falling. Or a disarming spell that only works on other people. Yeah, I mean, I was hoping that to be a bit more epic than it was. Minecraft for the win! Iguana. Okay, Fred, don't die this time. Learning from past mistakes. Casting fire on it now! Fred, ask circle forward B. Hadouken! Okay, we, we we probably have enough. Is 
think it's only 400 that I need for the uh, new spell. I think it is 400. Good, but that's the wrong spells. I want these spells. These black spells. For Fred, we get ice. Level two. Just a level two spell. It's actually just a spell. Oh. It's not ice two. Okay, now that we're saved, let's go fight Beak. Look, there's a pirate here. Beak, the pirate. And then we fight his crew. We don't ever actually fight Beak. Because why would we do that? Wrong. That is Beak. He used the double gear technique. I guess that would make sense. Or don't tell me about the game that I've been yet. But these things, these guys have so little HP, it's ridiculous. I mean, even a black mage can melee them to death. Doesn't say a lot about pirates. Are there any ninjas in the game? No. Oh. Well, at least they made it to the party. This is true. Ninjas did make it into the party. I take it back. Okay, I guess I'll give you a black belt of the ninja. No, no. Thieves become ninja. Oh. Nothing here. And we got his ship! Ship, yeah! This works in real life, too. Just beat the tar out of a guy with an iPad, and I'll give you a ship. If he owns one. That's one odd eye. Really? It looks like two odd eyes. Maybe that's what's so odd about it. Maybe. Again, weak monster is weak. Now, Sahagan could be a little bit more dangerous. Just due to sheer numbers. And the fact that they don't die anymore. Well, we missed. And again, missed. But you're right, they don't die in one hit. Yet. So, Hazmat. Pirate versus Ninja. Depends on the environment. Because, I mean, you put the ninja out on a boat, he's going to get seasick because he's just not used to it, and that's going to give the pirate the advantage. Uh oh, uh oh, Look, looks like we have an invader here. However, if you. Oh god, this cat is fat. This cat is so fat. Look at there, look, there you are. Look, look, there you are. Right there. Come on. Come on. Meet, meet Twix again, everybody. This is Twix. He's the fat cat. One of the two who ate the rat's uh, mascot. So he assumed that basically we went with the Highlander theory and he absorbed its power of being the mascot. Uh, uh, oh. Twixie. Oh. Says 
No, they, they're, they're, they're not Sahagan. They're Sahags. We're killing baby Sahagan. But, anyway, if you catch a pirate without having his daily dose of frog, that's clearly where their power comes from. And so, the ninja in any environment is going to beat them. So, as long as they have a fresh supply of booze, I gotta say, they have that drunk strength. Oh. Zero Miss disagrees. Ninja is far better than a pirate. Yes. He, he said that a while ago, by the way. Oh. You just didn't notice. He doesn't notice much! Hey, has that light always been on the ceiling? Unfortunately, this is true. I'm actually very bad at noticing things sometimes. Not only do we have normal Sahagan, we've got red Sahagan. Unfortunately, it's nothing like red lobster. I think they put up more of a fight. Yes and no. But they do give more experience than gold. Or G is in the case of this game. Because they haven't called it gold or gill or anything yet. It's just G. Yo, G. What's up in the Hezao? Oh. A Grolf. Grumpy Wolves. Okay, I can't use that joke too early. Maybe. Ah, hell, sighting The the wolves, they're blue, da ba di da da da. <laughs> We can end your life, you know this, right? I have a button for it. PG-13 content only, I'm quite sure murder is not PG-13. I say as he kills plenty of things in the <laughs> on the game. Well, eh. Clicking the controller to the music. Maybe. <laughs> Don't judge me. Eh, we won't judge you much. I mean, 
Arena, unless one of our names is Dread, and then he's free to get you all you want. And lots of money, and into Elf Town. They want us to save their prince. Isn't that adorable? Well, whether you think so or not, it is adorable. But as it is getting very close to 10 o'clock, it is way past my time for bed. So I need to get going. Um, I've been Death Star 175. This has been Hazmat X. And this has been part one of our Final Fantasy chronological playthrough. Um, yeah. Don't forget to save and uh, hold reset. And oh, hit. yeah, yeah. I gotta save and hit reset. And... Don't forget, if you leave your game, hold reset while you turn off the power. All right, everyone. Uh, th thank you for those of the, you decided to stick around and watch. And I'm going to try and be online Sunday. Um, so, continuing Final Fantasy, obviously. So, if you want to join, if you want to join in, watch on uh, chat. Just let us know. You're very welcome, Zeromius, and uh, thank you for watching. And uh, Danka to you, Danka, Danka do. Au revoir, so long, sayonara. Good night, everybody. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Keep it awesome. Keep it classy.